So let's continue on the age problem. Toby is three times as old as Jason. Three years ago, Toby was four times as old as Jason. The sum of their ages is, so we need to calculate the sum of ages um, of Toby and Jason. Okay, so starting with this statement, Toby is three times as old as Jason. Okay, let's assume as variable t, uh, t and j uh, be the present ages of Toby and Jason. Okay, so from this statement, Toby is three times as old as Jason. And it will be like that. So t is equal to 3 times j, of course. No? Then three years ago, Toby was four times as old as Jason. So three years ago, the age of Toby is t. Okay, so um, from this equation, no, I rearrange this na diretso. So I just cross or transpose 3j dito sa kabila. Okay, so naging ganyan. And ito yung equation 1 ko. Then, again dito, 3 years ago. So 3 years ago, the age of Toby, of course, that will be t minus 3. This is the present age minus 3 years. Of course, the age of ni Jason Three years ago also, that is j minus 3 then. Okay, so it simply says that three years ago, this age of Toby is four times this age of Jason. Okay, claro. So as you can see, we can rearrange this and it will give us this equation. Okay, and this will be my equation too. Then, grab your calculator and we can solve the um, age present, uh, present ages of Toby and Jason as that values. And... Pinapahanap dito is the ages or the sum of their their ages. That is just t plus j is equals to 36. Okay, ganun lang. Madali lang yung um, age problem. Okay, another example. Six years ago, Ami was five times as old as Sachi. In five years, Ami will be three times as old as Sachi. Okay, what is the present age of Sachi? Okay, so again... Let's assume variables. Okay, let's assume the present age of Ami is A and the present age of Sachi is S. Okay, so wag, natin, uh, wag na natin gawin yung X and Y. Okay, let's be practical. Gawin natin kung ano yung initial ng mga name nila. Okay, so 6 years ago, okay, that this will be the age of Ami, A minus 6. Of course, uh, Ami will be 5 times, was 5 times as old as Sachi. Oh, ito yung age ni Sachi. 6 years ago also and it says that this age of Ami at that time is 5 times the age of um, Sachi at that time. So again, I will rearrange this into this equation. This will be my equation 1. Then another statement, in 5 years, Ami will be 3 times as old as Sachi. Okay, in 5 years meaning uh, the present age plus 5 years of course. Okay, and of course the same kai Sachi. Then it says that this age will be three times as old as Sachi at that um, future time. Okay? And again, I will rearrange into ganito. Then, to yung equation 2 natin. Okay? Um, grab your calculator. Two equations, two unknowns. And we have these values. And of course, yung answer is kay Sachi. Okay? <coughs> okay, now let's move to mixture. Okay? Money has an available 10% alcohol solution and a 60% alcohol solution. Find how many, how many liters of each solution he should uh, mix to make 50 liters of, of a 40% alcohol solution. Okay, so how can we solve this? Ano yung technique dito? Okay, let's assume ito yung um, barrel, kumbaga. Okay, or serva, or lagayan ng ating uh, liquids. Okay, so assuming... Ito yun. Okay, this barrel, uh, let's assume that this is the volume X of the barrel. So, 10% of this volume X is alcohol. Okay, that is 0.1 of X. Okay, and also, uh, money has a solution. And he has also another um, solution or another barrel. Uh, let's call that, okay, let's call that Y. This total volume of this is Y. Okay, so dito, point, I mean 10% alcohol solution, ang remaining is, uh, let's say water na lang, okay, it, it won't matter in a solution, okay? 
let's say 90% is water. Dito naman, uh, money has also another um, vo uh, another volume of solution. Okay? Um, it has 60% alcohol solution. Okay, so let's assume that the total volume of this is Y. So he has 60% uh, 60 alcohol solution. Of course, the remaining will be, let's say water pa rin, 0.4 of Y or 40%. Okay, now, um, dito, and assume natin na yung X and Y is the required volume of each solution para makabuo tayo ng 50 liters of 40% alcohol solution. Kung baga, i-add natin to, and dapat, it will result 50 liters. Okay? And that 50 liters is composed of alcohol and of course, composed of water. And it is clearly stated here that the resulting mixture should be 40% alcohol in solution. Oh, that will be 0.4 times 50. Okay? And this one is 0.6 times 50. Ito yung water. Now, paano natin isasolve yung how many liters in each solution? Kumbaga, how to calculate this X and Y? Okay, so klarong klaro man siguro. This will be the volume plus the second volume should be equal to 50. Okay? Uh, the required volume here and the required volume dito dapat equals to 50 lahat. Okay, parang inad lang natin to lahat. Um, this regarding the mixture. Okay, we are considering here the total volumes. Okay, now another solution, uh, another equation. We can just um, add the solution. Okay, um, just focus on alcohol. Ano yung itsura dito? Okay, just focusing on the alcohol, that will be, okay, lahat ng alcohol i-add natin. 10% oh, of alcohol solution, that will be 0.1 of X. Plus this alcohol dito, 0.6 of Y, must be equal to 0.4 of 50. Okay? And that is equation 1 and equation 2. And this will give us X and Y. Ito yung tinatanong dito. Okay? Now, dito, I focus on alcohol. What about if we focus on water? Uh, it would, um, magbibigay ba ito ng the same answer? Of course, the same answer lang din yan. Okay, so... Um, you try that, okay? Okay, you try that to use um, this as the second equation. Okay, let me show you in the calculator. Okay, so first, of course, ito yung first equation natin, x plus y. That will be in mode um, 5 equation, then 2 equations, 2 unknowns. Okay, ayun. Okay, so this equation, 1 and 5. And that should give us 50. Okay, now another equation. Okay, so sinabi ko, we will try the water. Okay, so let's focus on water. Okay, so lahat ng volume ng water, i-add natin and dapat equivalent siya dito sa resulting volume of water. So that will be 0.9 of x, then 0.4 of x, then that should give us 0.6 of 50. Okay, then pressing equals... Bakit mali? Okay, so, uh, let us try ulit. Uh, dito tayo nagkamali. Dapat that is 1. Okay. So, press equals. Okay, so that should give us the same answer lang. Okay. Uh, either focusing on the alcohol or focusing in the water. It's up to you. Okay. Or either you can use this equation dito. Dito sa taas. Then, ito yung second equation natin. The water. It's up to you talaga. Basta magka-create ka lang ng equation. And simply dapat ma-understand mo yung logic ng mixture. Okay, so let's try another example. A tank contains 20 gallons of mixture of alcohol and water which is 40% um, alcohol by volume. Okay, let's say ito yung tank. Um, 20 gallons, a tank contain 20 gallons. Okay, the total volume of this is 20 gallons. And it is clearly stated that 40% of that alcohol, I mean of that tank, is um, alcohol. Okay, so this will be point, uh, 40% or 0.4 of 20. And this one should be 0.6 of 20. Okay, claro. <clears throat> now, how much of the mixture should be removed and replaced by an equal volume of water? Meaning, um, kukuha tayo ng mixture dito. Of course, yung makukuha nating mixture dyan, 
I mean, yung makukuha nating volume dito is just a, is also a mixture of the water and the alcohol. Okay, so we will deduct kumbaga. Okay, so we just remove this volume. Okay, and let's call this volume X. Okay, this total volume. And of course, the concentration of this volume is the same as the concentration dito. This should be 0.4 of X yung alcohol natin dito. Okay, and dito is also 0.6 of X. X. Dapat the same concentrations siya. Then, nag-replace tayo ng that volume, then we will, I mean, we will replace this volume to a... Um, 100% of water na to uh, by an equal volume of water. Kumbaga, yung ibabalik nating volume dyan, volume X, is 100% of water. Okay? Klaro? Kinuha natin to, and of course, yung makukuha natin is a mixture, then i-replace uh, um, natin by equivalent volume, but 100% by water. <clears throat> okay? So, i-add natin yan. So, sinabi dito, that will result a solution that is 25% um, alcohol by volume. That one. Okay, so by this um, scenario, ano yung total volume of this? Ano yung magiging total volume ito? Of course, initially we have the volume 20. Then nagkuha tayo ng volume X. Then nagdagdag tayo ng volume X. Again, disregarding muna this solution. Siyempre, yung volume dito is babalik lang ng 20 gallons. Okay, but ang magbabago dito is the concentration. Okay, take note. Um, sinabi dito naging 25% of alcohol by volume. Okay, so that one is 25 of 20 and of course this one is 75.75 of 20. Okay, what is the technique? We can use either <coughs> um, either of the solutions. Okay, we can use the alcohol, we can focus on the alcohol or we can focus in water. Okay. So uh, uh, let's try to focus on alcohol. By focusing on alcohol, that would be this alcohol minus this alcohol plus wala ng alcohol dito. Okay? That is purely water. Equate natin diretso sa alcohol dito. Claro? 0.4 of 20 minus 0.4 of X. Then equate natin diretso dito. Since at this point, wala na tayong dinagdag na alcohol. Okay? So as you can see, yung X na lang yung matitirang unknown. And that will give us, okay, so dito, um, we can directly calculate na the answer now. But, okay, let's try, what if we try to focus the water? Okay, so this water here, 0.6 of 20 minus um, 0.6 of X. Then, take note, this is water and 100% of water. So, automatically, that is X is equals to the resulting water dito. Okay. So if we do shift salt, that would uh, that would give us the same answer, and that is 7.5 gallons. Okay, so klaro man siguro. Okay, just understand the logic lang. Okay, let's try another example pa. A given alloy contains 20% copper and 5% tin. How many products of coppers, pounds of coppers, and tin must be melted with 100 pounds of the given alloy? Okay, so in this case, pwede tayong malito dito. Okay, that given alloy, um, we have that as 100 pounds dito. Okay, parang hindi naka, nagkasunod yung um, kumbaga, property ng alloy na yan. Okay, dito na sinabi lang niya, given alloy. So, andito yung um, weight niya dito. Hindi nagkasunod yung statement, kumbaga. Okay, so we have this given alloy. That will be composed of 20% of copper. Okay, so this given alloy is 100 pounds. That is composed of 20% of copper and that is 5% of tin. Okay, so the remaining, let's call that others. Okay, of course, if we have this 20% plus 5%, ang matitira dito is um, 75%. Let's call that others na lang. Okay, now, how many pounds of copper and tin must be melted with 100 pounds of the given alloy? Okay, so ilang pounds ng copper dito, I mean, ilang pounds ng copper ang idadagdag natin dito and also tin uh, of the given alloy to produce another, another alloy analyzing 30% copper and 10% tin. Okay, so we should um, analyze ano yung resulting uh, mixture natin. So, okay, so ito yung magiging resulting mixture natin. Okay, so ito yon Ito yung idadag, idadagdag natin. Let's call this as copper and let's call this tin. 
Kumbaga, may idadagdag tayong copper and tin dyan sa given alloy. I-add natin. Okay, let's um, assume this variable T and T na lang. Okay, and that, uh, that will result and that will result to this given alloy. Ito yung resulting weight natin. Okay, of course, initially dito, okay, look at this. Disregarding the uh, mixture muna. Okay, this one has a weight of 100 pounds. Okay, and this two has a weight of C plus T, the, cap, the weight of copper and the weight of tin. Of course, it will result to the weight as 100 pounds plus the weight of the copper plus the weight of the tin. Okay, so don't misinterpret this. We can use uh, we can do equation by just um, disregarding muna the, the composition or the mixture ng ating material. Okay, ito yun. Now, it simply says that it will result copper 30%. So, that should be 30% of this total weight. Claro? And also, 10% of the tin. So, this will be 10% of the total weight. Okay, so of course, yung remaining, that will be 60% na lang. Okay, now, how can we calculate um, the copper and the tin? Take note, yung inahanap natin dito is the weight of the copper and the weight of the tin. And that is just by, okay, let's focus on copper. Okay, again, um, you may focus on any mixture dito. It's up to you. So, okay, so in this case, if I focus ko sa copper, so that will be 0.2 plus C, lahat ng weight ng copper dito, is equals to the resulting weight. Klaro? That one is equals to ito. Okay, so we can rearrange this into ganito. Okay, just simply algebra lang. I know you can get this na. Now, another equation, take note that we have these two equation. We can use the tin. Okay, or we can use the copper. It's up to uh, the others. It's up to you. Okay, so in this case, I prepared the tin. Okay, so 0 0.05 of the tin plus the tin is equals to uh, resulting tin dito. And again, rearrange this. Yan yun. Yan yung equation 2. And grab your calculators. We have these answers. Okay, klaro man siguro.